All right, ladies and gentlemen, your next bout is brought to you by Simon Incorporated. And it's taking place at 170 pounds for three rounds. And introducing first out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist stepping into the cage at 31 years of age and with a record of 1-0. and oh. Tipping the scales at 170 pounds, representing Team Intercept and Team 1 from Frankfurt, Illinois, Alexander Rivera! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter, stepping into the cage at 27 years of age and one fight to his credit. Weighing in at 170 pounds, representing Ronin Fitness from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, Samuel Geyer! And your referee for the action, Merrick Moreland. In the blue corner, we've got Rivera in the blue, white, and red striped trunks. Red corner, Samuel Geyer, the black trunks, gray, gray markings. Touch gloves by both fighters. Geyer quick to the center. Deep and in for a Shoot single leg takedown take is Sam Geyer. Yeah, nice. you might as well see, right? Yeah, nice little stuff. It wasn't easy to find stuff on Alex Rivera, too. It's a very common name, for one. Back to a single leg takedown. Yeah, I tell you, he's working out with Danny Summers and Sean Terrence at Team One. He's got to have pretty good takedown defense. So far, so good. Yeah, yep. he's doing a great job pummeling in, fighting head position, pulling him up. Nice takedown, Sam Rivera. Got to get that mic down really close. So I can't turn it in. Sam Rivera, or Sam Geyer. A little half guard, looking to try to move to, nope. Move to side control here. Quick to his feet is Rivera. Separate is Geyer. Nice Holy. body shot. That's one problem with jiu-jitsu guys is even when they get the takedown sometimes and when they get wrestled, it's hard to keep someone down. Back Especially good. a strong looking guy like, look at Rivera, very strong all around body, strong legs, strong upper half. He's, he's obviously a little powerhouse. Power kick by Geyer. Geyer's Guy, just throwing straight heat. He's not really setting up his punches or kicks. He's just straight power. He's fighting a little reckless as well. You know, like, he's burning a lot of energy on takedowns. He's not really setting them up. And, I mean, he's getting them, but they're not, like, they're not kind of takedowns you can do anything with yet. Yeah, no, he's either wrestling or striking. He's not mixing the two together, keeping them guessing. Now, this is his second takedown. For his level of high jiu-jitsu and the, and the energy is expended, he's going to want to do something with he's, this one. He's got to have return yeah, on that Alex energy. Very, very good at right up. back up. Overhand left, strike by Rivera. Nice see Geyer, he's breathing hard a little bit. He is, those are, those are very, I mean, the first takedown especially, you know, was a lot of energy burned. Deep to the body, Rivera connects. Ooh, kick to the head, Geyer's throwing heavy punches. Connected a little through the gloves. Yeah, they almost stick, oh. He's touching the chin. Rivera's got real good accuracy on those punches. Both those punches at the same spot on the chin of Geyer. Nice body shot. Nice knee right down the middle. Knee to the body. Rivera's fouled up by a left hook. Left hook again. Both guys, Rivera knows what he's doing in there. But Danny Summers' gym where it's located, he gets like a heavy Mexican boxer influence out of that gym. So that, that fighting in like the pocket, like in a phone booth type style, like you see that a lot in his gym. Ooh, Geyer coming forward. He's, He's got to get his hands back hooks. up, though. He, he almost got caught with a nice little hook there. Nice single leg takedown. Geyer trying to go into the mount. Rivera keeps him in the half guard. Ooh, and that's the end of the round. Uh, Guy could have stole that round with that last takedown, Jeremy. I think so. Yeah, three um, takedowns. Yeah. Say so. Aggressive. It was about even on the feet, you know, but he was more aggressive, and I felt like he controlled the cage. Uh, you know, the cage control was on him, too. It was, it, was, it was usually where he wanted it to be, or he forced it there. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if he slows down a lot at all with those takedowns. Big time. Well, you got Danny Summers and Sean Terrence in the corner of Rivera. I mean, two guys that have been around uh, 
the mixed martial arts scene for many, many years. For sure. I mean, that's one, you know, Alex, you know, he, he was off, but I know he did some training, and he's been training. Sean Terrence is a guy who's been around forever. And uh, doesn't work with many guys anymore. He doesn't, you know, he only works with uh, he, he picks, guys. Yeah, he yeah. picks and chooses who he wants to work with. And rightfully so. I mean, he's, he's certainly proven himself as a, uh, a very, very good coach in the Chicagoland area. Yeah, but that's what you do. You got Eau Claire versus Chicago right here in, you know, <laughs> Minnesota. I mean, there's no hometown decision here. Whoever wins this fight wins this fight, you know. Oh, check nice. left hook by Rivera. Slow, like a guy is blinking real hard. It definitely affected him. It's almost like a Jerry Prochaka type uh, yeah. of offense out of out of uh, Geyer. Yeah, well, one thing he does is when he, he's throwing a lot of wild stuff, but he's not getting his hands up right back, and that could cost him against someone who's fighting tight and uh, like Alex is, who's fighting a little more technical. Good counter there, way to pop his hips right back up. For sure. I didn't see that one. I, I, Sam's going to have his hands full trying to keep him down, it looks like. Um, he's also been forced to work real hard for these takedowns, and Alex yeah. hasn't had to work that hard to get back up from him. No, Rivera's not afraid to wrestle at all. Looks really comfortable here. Yeah, and if you're Sam, I mean, if he can't get him to go and get him in one bad spot, that's all he needs to use his, you know, nice. Ah, you oh, know, he's probably not that uncomfortable here. You know, this is probably... Now, Alex, yeah, that's the issue is he burned a lot of energy, and Alex popped up. Geyer circling. Rivera starting to close the distance. Kick to the body, followed by a check left hook. Yeah, Rivera is consistently landing that left hook. Yeah, he's staying tight, throwing beautiful counters. He's very technical. Well, I, you're not sure. Like, sometimes he's leading with his left, sometimes he's leading with his right. Is he a southpaw? Is he an orthodox? It's really kind of hard to tell, but based on him landing that left hook, you have to assume he's a southpaw. He's switching because of the wrestling, too. Yeah. Probably, huh? Geyer looping left punches. Blinking hard once again is Geyer. Yeah, he's starting to find a target for his straight shots. Kick one. with the follow-up left hook by Rivera. Now, the flow of the fight is kind of going to Rivera, but Geyer's still winning the round. Yes. In my opinion. Yes. I, would, I would agree. You know, like. Um, yeah, in terms of scoring, it's Geyer, flow, you're leaning towards. Oh, oh. wow, that's kind of surprising, huh? Geyer yeah. coming in with a flurry of punches is Geyer. Don't, you can't burn your load here, here, because Alex, look at him, he already recovered. Yeah. I, I, I was really surprised how Rivera handled that kick to the face, left right punch by Rivera. Left punch again. Geyer in for a takedown. Stuffed by Rivera. Well, that's that famous Mexican uh, ability to recover, you know? Oh, God, dude. I mean, he wasn't bothered at all, and he was just getting, you know, pummeled by Geyer, but he... No, didn't freak out either. No. Yeah, you that, know what, though? That, that said, these are two clean rounds, in my opinion, for Geyer. I agree. That's that's the issue that Rivera's got. There's going to have to be a little, little desperation coming into this last and final round. I think if, I, if, if Geyer could just... Both guys showing a lot of talent, though. If Guy would slow down just a little bit, I think it'd be a little easier here. But I do like the Prochaska style fight. He's unpredictable. He is shooting takedowns, and he's not just shooting jujitsu style takedowns. He's shooting wrestling takedowns. Oh, yeah. You know, um, I think it's a good. It's labored, labored breathing out of Sam Guy or in his yes. corner. Yes. That being said, you know Alex is very dangerous right now, and um, you know if Sam gets tired at all, he gets caught with a big counter. He could change quickly, so. In this round here, I think he uh, exp tries to expend his energy. If I'm him, Ashkan, I'm shooting for a takedown. If you're I mean, I'm gonna, you got to set it up, but I'm going for a takedown. Yeah. No, he's doing a great job. Um, it's just going back and forth. If he's able to mix him up a little bit better, hold him down. Rivera recovered well. He did. I, I, it, was, it was two, like, right-hand punches, I think, that did it. It was the second one. Like, the first one pushed the button, and... Second one dropped him, but he recovered well. I mean, you can't ask for anything else other than that. Yeah, I mean, there's got to be a sense of urgency coming out of out of Rivera's corner, though. He's got, he needs a finish, I Oh, believe. yeah, for sure. And he's going to need that finish on the feet because on the ground, or, or hurt Sam. I don't see Sam getting submitted. Um, now his level of jiu-jitsu. No, no, I agree with that. Kick to nice the body. Right body kick. 
Rivera circling. Ooh, back to the body is Rivera. I'm really surprised that guy's being this aggressive. He's up 2-0, and I think that I, I think he probably knows this. There we go. That's what I was looking for. He goes right back to the takedown. I'd sit here as long as I could. I would as well. And right in the mount, and oh, gets the back of yeah, Rivera and out. Sam Geyer looking for the finish. I don't think he's push off the cage. Yeah. Good move by Sam Geyer. See if he can stretch him out. Oh, here. it's over. Is he under the chin? Yes. Oh. He's is under it? the chin. Oh, he let it go. There, yeah, he just retightened it. Yeah. There it is. Good job, Sam Geyer. I tell you, I mean, a spirited contest by Rivera and Sam Geyer just finds a way to win. Good show sportsmanship. You'd expect nothing less out of a team one team intercept uh, fighter. You know, yeah, Sam was, uh, we thought he was tired, but he never let the tiredness bother him. You know what I mean? Sometimes no. can, some guys can ignore it. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, it's, it's Baratov, it was similar to us. Like, he got tired, heard it, just ignored it, you know, yeah. like. He did a great job recovering in the break, and he came out. Yeah, and, and honestly, the, he wasn't the one who needed the finish. He, he could have just laid there, you know. Like he, he got the finish when he didn't need it. That's even, you that's know. Impressive. Yeah, he got the finish, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that, that's what everyone looks at. You know, are you a finisher? You know, it's on top of the record. They want to know if, you, if, if you're finishing. Well, let's make it official with our ring announcer, Tres Mala. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Merrick Moreland, calls a halt to the action with 51 seconds left in the third round. Your winner by submission, Sam Go! <laughs>